Yeah, a lot of people didn't didn't like Champions Online. I I remember when I when uh, they first let us beta test it, and some people just instantly hated it. And I was like, it it's like it's fun, but it's not fun because you had the energy builders, and it was like, all right, you got to sit here and build your energy. So you were like throwing out these weak attacks so that you could do a strong attack. And when you go back and listen to Jack. When he's talking about City of Heroes and like how he wanted there to be fast attacks and constantly doing basically like a regular Twitch type game. Uh, it's like he got exactly what he was trying to do in City of Heroes, but it still didn't quite work well and they had to keep tweaking it. I would come back and play champ Champions Times, but um i think the biggest thing to hurt it was there was no community not like city of heroes once they let you have free form characters and they got over the whole oh you can only have five attacks because people were like yo man you you give us all these attacks to city of heroes that you can use at the same time why'd you why'd you make all of these choices you know with the expectation that one day you're going to port it over to Xbox. Make the Xbox players have to change for the game, not make the game for, uh, they, oh, well, we're doing this with Xbox Inc. Yeah, I liked, uh, ECUO came out. I, I, I jumped on that and I thought it was a lot of fun but people I was playing with they played it for like a month and they bounced and so I, oh well I started out I had all these people to play with and uh, now everybody I was playing with has bounced some other new game for their there was a group of guys I was playing with and every time a game would come out they play like the the month get a month free and they try to go through the game as quickly as they could in that month. And then they bounce before, all right, now I got to start paying for a subscription. And I'm like, can y'all just like pick, play something and stick with it? Because every month, every two months where you buy a new game, you know, it's like you're spending 60 bucks every two or three months on this game. And then playing the month free but if you just bought one game and just stuck with it, you know, that 60 bucks that you're paying out every two or three months. If you, you know, got six month subscription where, you know, the subscription fee goes down from $15 a month to maybe 10, right? Now you got six months that you can play this game. Bless you. And uh, I don't know. I, I I I quit trying to talk since time ago. Though I I don't even play with them now, and don't really. I'm, I haven't even looked to see what they're playing in in years. Even though I'm still part of that that same gaming community, I I hop on the gaming community and see what other people are playing. That's that's cool that you donate to home. with the R or the, the upkeep on the servers purchase tried to put you in on something Act no always vying for dumb fight each other echo like scorpion Reasons for hurt. All Arachnos operatives, the Arbiters, Violet, Eddie Squabble, Times Threaten to Rip Our Grip. Keeps on going on about how the Arbiters are the only ones that don't get caught up in this stuff. And I'm pretty sure that they're setting it up that the Arbiters are going to get caught up in this nonsense. Going to us.
I'm really curious about when, uh, what point are we going to get off of this? Oh, oh, you escaped from the zig and all it, because that didn't happen with the character to, uh, yeah, well, uh, there were a lot of victory people that were on everlasting. I was on Excelsior and, and sometimes reunion cause, um, my real life friend that I played ace, I don't in Georgia. I don't know why he was playing on reunion, but he was playing there. I don't know if he's still playing or not. I haven't, I haven't seen him on in a long time, but usually he's, he's on early in the morning for me. So I know last year he was on a lot. I would get up and see him, but I was trying to finish up fitness certification and it was like uh, waking up and jumping into the game early in the morning to play with him was not good for my workouts, part of my certification. Because I could look up and it was like, you know, if he stayed up late and I'm up late, well, it's not late for me because it morning for me but feels like all right well it's it's like 11 in the morning my time and 11 at night his time which you know is all right but it's kind of like well, i could have could have gotten up and started my workout or something it's up in game and There was a lot of, uh, I should have gone to train. Best yet. Nope. Oh, well. I'll get through it. Get through it. A fight. Pop these inspirations. <laughs> Pop these inspirations. A lot of times I I do run through stuff like uh, I tried to I, I soloed a doctor a doctor quarterfield last night and I wanted to stream it but um I started I started listening to Spotify and I was like I can't because before up until now I was whenever I'd stream I'd stream to YouTube and um yeah, you can't you can't you can't have Spotify playing like you know. I, I'm sure there's there's a uh, uh, NCS stuff that you can play in the background that's safe for streams. But I was just at first I was I started out listening to this guy. I've been watching his YouTube channel, and he's not even he doesn't even do music. Just got one of those I don't want to say it's a drama channel because it's not like it's it's really good uh, he just kind of does commentary on uh, reality TV shows I think he started out doing like kind of a drama type channel where it's commentary on you know other people on YouTube but uh, when he started the reality TV stuff he really blew up I think he's half a million subscribers now but he would he he mentioned that he's also a musician and he said yeah my stuff is on spotify and uh you know very smart marketing he'd have his uh intro he'd have his intro in um in his videos 
like his music is part of his intro and his videos or the outro. So I, you know, I was like, huh? He, I, I kind of like that song, the little piece of the song that he played. Let me check him out. So I started out on the Dr. Q, just listening to his uh, his stuff on Spotify, and then after a while, I was like, all right, let me hear some regular people. I better jump in. Yeah, I can understand wanting to wanting to hurry up and get you know all characters to the max level. When they did the uh, that April Fool's event, I got a lot of my alts that were just. There were like new characters, I created them and they just been sitting and a whole lot of them are like level 20, level 30 now where I was just hopping on, running to the next zone for the that map server event. That was, that was fun. It was cool too because I got a lot of characters that I've been wanting to try out. up to a pretty decent level where now it's like all right, I can slot some attacks and, and see what they can really do I had a uh, back when the game was live I wanted to play a uh, water blaster water and uh, what is it the martial arts secondary what they call it I'd wanted to play one of those and I was like, yeah, this is going to be water bender. That was when Oro was still, was still hot. Shut down happened. So when homecoming came out, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna play this. I remember streaming it on YouTube and a lot of people, I ran into somebody that like copied my character. I didn't say anything. I don't think they knew it was me. Cause I, I was like, well, I've never touched this character since then. But I remember streaming it and somebody was on the stream saying, do you mind if I, that character looks cool. And if I play, oh. and, uh, apparently they did because <laughs> I ran into them. <laughs> they copied everything. They copied the outfit, the costume, everything. Oh, well, that. Yes, that was, or maybe it wasn't the same person, but apparently somebody saw that that stream, and uh, they were like, "Huh? I don't think that. I think when I made it, I wasn't even playing on Homecoming because there was an actual like victory server where they had the the same code as Homecoming. Uh, Leandro knew about it. Cool with it." Oh yeah, they. I think the person that I saw though, they were a Sentinel. Right? I think because they were like uh, water and willpower, some water blast and willpower. But yeah, I finally. I don't want to say I remade the character because the second time around I didn't try to. Well, I was like, maybe one day I might want to stream with this character. And I think Homecoming's thing now is if you stream and you have a homage character, it can't look like it can't be too obvious. So I was like, yeah, I don't want to um, have this character that looks like Korra, you know, from Avatar. So I made it a dude. I actually went back and uh, like maybe I should kind of make it more inspired by Shang-Chi. But then it's like, it's a dude, but if I play the character now, somebody sees the stream, they're going to be like, you, you kind of still have that Korra costume, which funny. The character didn't start out like that. I, I just redid the, I just redid the costume uh, during, right before the map server event started. And then, um... I think I was at 20 and uh, I played him up to about 33 or 34 map server thing. Then I spent 
spent a lot of time on uh on a rad blaster i got a rad atomic blaster that i got to like 34 something he wasn't a lot of fun now he's more fun but i don't i don't think i'm gonna like him even though i like i like get into melee a lot with blasters i I don't I don't think I'm like that character. But we'll see. Uh, and then I re-rolled, actually re-rolled my first 50 on live. Storm Defender, Electric Storm or Storm Electric. Uh but I did Storm and Water Blast. You want to talk about fun? That character's fun. I got him up to 45 um well, no, I got him up to like 42, and I did some PI mission. I got on a PI radio team the other day. Now he's at 45. I think he's going to be a lot of fun when I get him like all built out and incarnate powers and everything else. He could easily end up being my new main, which would kind of be appropriate because it was my first 50 what, like 2005? That was my badge tune. And that's how far back we go. That was my badge tune on Victory. That's, that's kind of why I'm a little bit sad that uh, friend Forrest is... I haven't seen. I'm like, man, we, we need to get the boys back together. I move him over to Reunion and... Uh, when you're on, I hop on, we run through because what we used to, I remember we used to be the healers on like task forces. We couldn't get anybody. Cool. I will add you for, I'm actually thinking about, there's a streamer, this, uh, guys, guys, gals, these folks who just started playing and, and uh, streaming on Twitch. It's funny, I, I like watch them stream while I'm playing and uh, they're on Excelsior. I think her, it's a, I don't think the guy, cause it's two people, they're not a couple. I think they're just, I think their friends grew up together or something. Um, But the, the ladies who streams, I think her name is Void Rain or something. Void, like R-A-I-N-E or something like that. Yeah, they like I th I think she played a long time ago. They both played a long time ago for like a little while, not very long. And so yeah, at first I was just kind of on my phone just on the couch. Like, huh, I wonder who's playing City of Heroes on Twitch. I started watching her and you know, while I was eating and or waiting on my wife to finish making lunch and then I sat there ate and watched them and then fell asleep watching them <laughs> after we ate and then yesterday I was just sitting here at my desk watching and, and trying to help out oh because at first I was just watching them but not saying anything just kind of white noise you know waiting on wife to finish cooking and then like I finally like they did they did, they had all these questions I'm like there's other people watching, but maybe that's like their friends or something. So I started helping them out. And then uh, yesterday was kind of funny because they, they ran a strike force. And whatever they looked up was like, yeah, you can complete this in 45 minutes. And it ended up taking them like two hours. Almost three hours to finish the strike force. And uh, for some reason, the mission difficulty was set at like level 21. They were all level 16 and it was, I mean, it wasn't funny. Like, aha, you guys suck, but it was funny, you know, thinking back to, you know, running a, a positron task forces and back during issue two, issue three, being up all, we used to, we'd start a posse at like 10 o'clock. I remember we started one at 10 o'clock at night on Friday night. Cause I was in the barracks and, uh, and we didn't finish it until like three in the morning. Of course, you know, Ozzy was insanely long, but sometimes they were hard too. Now, you got people doing speed runs, finishing 
Posi 1 and Posi 2 in under 30 minutes. <laughs> Easily. I remember we had a, uh, I think it was two years ago I did a Posi 1 and somebody had a war shade and they just tanked the entire last, the last uh, part of Posi 1 with the, it was crazy. I was like, I can't believe they tanked off like every, the whole thing, not just like running up the one. I mean, it was like the old school tanking where you just, you had a tank. It's like running from mob to mob with the chains and everything. Of course, you know, now they have to eat. Yeah, you can't, you can't exactly tank like people used to way back when. Still. Amos, matter of fact, uh, I did a summer blockbuster earlier today with people and not, they weren't, they were on, they were leveling characters. And I was on my, uh, aren't it? It's kind of a brute. It's kind of my main now, kind of, my, uh, Superman. Um, well, not even Superman, eradicator homage, eradicator, Superman character. Yeah. And yeah, I made, uh, I made that summer blockbuster a lot easier for them because I think we almost had a team wipe on the last part and uh just in there just beating on the avs they made um the energy melee uh, changes are so good now i didn't even realize i can stun um i can stun avs now that was wild i didn't know i could do that i've, I've never never done that before <laughs> 